Good morning, it's Dot from Dotstrot.com. Um, I woke up this morning, I experimented and made me a chocolate fat shake, and it came out, it was very tasty. My husband decided to take a little taste and promptly ran off with it. So <laughs> that means this morning I need to make myself something else, and I'm going to make me a, um, a, a, a bulletproof coffee, essentially, what's known as a bulletproof coffee, a little bit different. And my ingredients are, usually a bulletproof coffee is uh, extra virgin coconut oil and butter, and you mix it with coffee. Um, I'm going to use MCT oil instead, and I'll get into a little bit what that is, and a little bit of cream with the butter uh, mixed into my coffee. Um, essentially, the idea with um, uh, with coconut oil, uh, using that in a coffee or using that in salad dressings or to cook with is that, um, coconut oil is wonderful. Not only does it fill you up as a fat, it's a healthy fat. So it fills you up. It helps suppress the appetite, but more importantly, um, it has a little thing called MCTs or it is to get this correct, uh, medium chain triglycerides, uh, which are the MCTs. And what they do essentially is they boost your fat burning ability. So instead of running off of uh, um, glycogen, which is why um, we're always told to eat a lot of carbs because we need the glycogen for our muscles and to burn that for energy, our body also is able to burn, uh, has a second fuel source, which is ketones. And what MCT does, um, it it's, goes to the liver and the liver then starts producing ketones, which your body uses for energy and your brain can use to function off of. And it helps burn more, turn more fat cells in your body into ketones, essentially, uh, getting into you into a state called ketosis. So not going a whole lot into the science, I hope. I'll include some links below. So if you want to learn a little bit more about coconut oil, MCT oils, and ketosis, you can knock yourself out. But what I'm going to do right now is um, I'm going to mix these. Now, a word of caution about using MCT oils. Now, I should say MCT oils are extracted from coconut. So these come straight from it. So it's a much more concentrated than using just straight old-fashioned coconut oil instead. Um, the serving size is a tablespoon. Spoon, uh, and you don't want to use more than one or two tablespoons a day. However, when you're first trying MCT oil, you do not want to use a tablespoon in any serving whatsoever. The reason why is your body has to adapt to it slowly because it's so concentrated. Um, I made the mistake of deciding, oh, MCT oil, I'll try it for the first time. Made myself and my husband, you know, coffees with it. Uh, it tasted great. But about an hour later, both of us started experience really bad cramping. Um, and I won't go into sort of, you know, what else we got, other symptoms we had, but basically your body has to adapt to it. So you start off slowly. So you try, you basically build up. So you try a teaspoon um, every day for a week. Uh, and then after that, you can build up to two teaspoons and then you can work yourself up to a tablespoon serving. Um, you just want to save yourself a lot of headache. It's not the food it's, or, you know, the coffee itself, but it is your body just has to adapt to it because it's in such a high dose and you don't want to do that. So go ahead, let's go on over to my coffee pot and I'll start making this quick dish. All right, we're gonna start making me some bullet coffee, essentially. So I got my butter, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it in to a container. And you, you do need to mix them so that the fat, which is the butter, and the MCT oil mixes well with the coffee. Um, I'm adding a little bit of cream to mine. That's usually not traditional, but the nice thing about this is um, I'm not making an actual bulletproof coffee, but I am making a bullet coffee, essentially. So I do add myself. I just use a little bit. I don't use a full serving size of cream, which is um, a tablespoon. I use about a, one or two teaspoons. Now, what I'm gonna, next I'm going to do is add in my MCT oil. Now, as I've stressed, you have to build up to this. I've done that. I've been using this for a while. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of, well, of uh, MCT oil. So go ahead and drop that in there, put that in there to wash. Let's put the lid on because I am prone to knock bottles over that are open. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my coffee. I'm making a big coffee. It's a long day of cooking. And then I'm going to use my immersion blender. You can use a regular blender, but you know, as always, be careful because it is hot and you don't want it. The lid tends to pop off and explode on you. Uh, so with the immersion blender, just go ahead and, and start blending. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour my coffee. It's a little foamy. And voila, it is a bulletproof coffee.
nice and hot. Smells delicious. It, it, to me, it always smells and tastes a little bit like maple for some reason. I don't know why, but that's just the, the way my nose and my taste buds work, I guess. That's good coffee. <laughs> so if you uh, like our videos, uh, and you are, enjoy the recipes that I make, uh, go ahead and click the like button and hit subscribe. And again, comment, let me know if you want me to try something or if you're having issues with recipes or how to convert things that favorite recipes over into low carb, I can certainly help you and give you, a, uh, give you a, um, any advice possibly that I, I can offer. Like I said, I'm not a professional cook. I'm just someone who likes to eat healthy. So until next time.